Ty Campbell from Teakin Racing here. Thank you for joining me in the Teakin Clinic. Today we're going to check out the sensor checking feature available on all Teakin brushless ESCs. Not a lot of people know about this one, but it is very handy to verify that the sensors in your motor are working correctly and it can help you track down issues with a bad sensor wire or a sensor board in the motor. So for today, we're going to use an RX-8 Gen 3. I'm gonna demonstrate how to check your sensors. To check the sensors, we just need the ESC to be on and in neutral. So radio on, ESC is powered on, we are in neutral, it's flashing the onboard temp indicator. Now pay attention over here to the right side of the LED bar, LEDs 5, 6, and 7. These are dimly lit and will activate as each sensor is hit in the motor. So you can see that some of them are dimly lit right now, and if we rotate the motor shaft slowly by hand, you can see them cycle through. So this is a good way to verify that all three sensors are working as intended. Now keep in mind that RX-8 and any Tekken ESC that is in dual mode is only going to use these sensors for the first few motor rotations to start up smoothly, and then we switch to sensorless. So don't panic if you hold a little bit of throttle and you see those LEDs quit working. If you come to a stop, they should pick right back up and we'll be back in censored for our censored starts. So that's it. Checking your sensors on your Tekken ESC is as simple as watching a couple of LEDs. We verify that they're working and this system is ready to hit the racetrack. And that's just one of the many troubleshooting features that the LED bar on the Tekken Speed Control lineup offers. There are lots of error codes that will tell you exactly what is wrong with your ESC. So listen or look and see what it's trying to tell you. I'll link all of those codes to a fancy little webpage on our website and they are all animated, so they're gonna show up exactly how you would see them on the ESC. So you'll be able to see if your battery's dead, if you're not getting a radio signal, if your neutral signal is outside of the acceptable range at first power up, and many more other codes. So make sure you go check those out. Keep that page handy in case you ever encounter any of them. Ty Campbell from Teakin Racing, thanks for watching. We'll see you at the racetrack.